did I did, did I miss something here? It was, was you know I like to feel like I have my finger to the pulse of video game news and what's happening and what's new in the world of video games, but evidently my ear to the street has gone deaf. You know, I have slipped and I've fallen and I cannot get up when it comes to video game news because it seems like myself and a lot of other people have mi missed out on something, missed out on something big, but thankfully a large British website, British website has indeed picked up the slack for us video game YouTube slackers and given us the big breaking news. The Nintendo Switch 2 reveal could be, could be this week. I, 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 I don't, I don't know, man. I this okay. So the express.co.uk, they're British, you know, call up Paul Revere because we're going to ride on these guys, but they have the exclusive. They have the big breaking story. Nintendo Switch 2 specs. Nintendo's console is more powerful than you think. What do you think the power is for this console? You, you, the person watching it who might not be subscribed, who needs to hit the subscribe button right now. It doesn't matter what you think because it's more powerful than that, according to this website here. So this is being done by someone named Liam Martin. I've never heard of them, but it seems like they've been around for quite a while. So, you know, it, it is what it is. It looks like the Nintendo Switch 2, which could be unveiled as early as this week, will be able to match the power of the Xbox Series S. Now, these are some bold claims here. You know, there's got to be some groundbreaking information in this. And as always, don't send hate to Express's website or the, the person writing this article or stuff like that. At the end of the day, it's all just people's opinions and it's all just rumor and speculation. You know, who cares? It's, it's video games. It's not that serious, but things are getting serious as we will see this switch to as early as this week. Super Mario Wonder be damned. Their Nintendo is like, yo, we got to cannibalize this game. This game might sell well. No, we're going to talk about the new system this week instead and i'm sure there's some great evidence in here to point to that oh look there it is running the matrix demo and this is this is the baseline switch model here new details have emerged about nintendo's next console with rumors that the nintendo switch 2 will have a 2024 release date information has started to leak thick and fast thick and fast <laughs> thick and fast you know, I like to I like to use some sexually puns in my stuff, but that that's pretty damn good over there. So there was a closed door event at Gamescom, which we talked about, like you know when Gamescom happened, said some lights on these console specifications, specifically how it compares to the PS5, the Xbox Series X, and the S. I mean, I, I must have missed where they compared systems there. So. Oh, I guess this isn't a thing. This is a this is an advert. Um, a Brazilian website, Universal Nintendo, launches with 12 gigs of RAM. Once again, we've already talked about that. While it's less than the 16 gigs of RAM and the PS5 and Xbox Series X, it's more than the, and the Xbox Series S. Souped up version of Breath of the Wild, Matrix 2 demo. This is all stuff that we've talked about. I'm still not convinced that this, this Breath of the Wild is just pop it in and it's the, you pop in your Switch version of the game. And it's, you know, it, it all of a sudden everything looks great and runs great or something like that. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. This website has a lot of ads on it. Uh, the Switch 2 DLSS 3.1. We've talked about that. According to a previous report by Chinese site Money DJ, a company called Hongzong is manufacturing metal cases for a Nintendo Switch successor. Okay, that doesn't mean anything, really. Um, the console will reportedly launch at $399, which is $100 more than the Switch launched in 2017. The Switch 2 will also have an LCD display instead of a superior OLED. It's cost-cutting. Finally, finally, Microsoft court documents speculate that the Nintendo Switch 2 will have a 2024 release date. And, 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 and that's it. So... I, correct me if I'm wrong here. Now, you know, I'm, I'm getting a bit up there in age, you know, getting some wisdom in my hair, you know. Um, where Where is any sort of indication that this could be unveiled as early as this week? What in Christ's name are we basing it on? Like, can I go out there and say, like, every week or every month, I, yo, 
yo, I think this is the this is the week that they unveil the Switch 2. Like I said at the start of this video, why the hell? Even, even if you had some sort of information, even if you had some sort of reason to potentially believe that, why in the hell would Nintendo completely cannibalize their big holiday game by talking about a successor of a system why would nintendo talk about this now before the end of the physical year of of, of 2023 like, like so many things don't make sense and i know people love to be like oh look at the look at the wii u look at when they announced the nintendo switch that was a completely different thing nobody was buying the wii u Okay, it sold 13 million systems. Nobody cared about that system. Nintendo was trying to get a new system out as quickly as possible. So they talked about it in, I believe it was October of 2016, and then launched it in March of 2017. Quick turnaround times. There was no holiday for the Wii U. There was nothing. You had to make people excited about something. There are Nintendo Switch games still coming out in 2023 large nintendo switch games now yes they might like i've said before they might not be the biggest triple a games in the world with that with the highest budgets but you know super mario rpg super mario brothers wonder more mario stuff and people within the mario universe like these are big games that nintendo is obviously going to want to promote i do think that the switch 2 will launch in 2024 at some point in time but that brings me back to my point of why is that in the title of this video? It's so funny to me. It's so funny to me because websites love to just dog on YouTubers. You ever notice that like the smallest, the smallest thing involving a YouTuber, every website in the world will run with it and they'll try to diminish the impact that video game YouTubers have on video game websites. It's just like the internet versus a newspaper. You know what I'm saying? Like people want to stick with their old guard mentality and their their old ways of, of distributing media. So whenever they can, big websites will always take a shot at YouTubers because those people excel in, in writing and typing and stuff. They don't have a personality. You know, there's a reason why a lot of journalists who end up becoming YouTubers because they lost their job or whatever because less people are reading video game websites and I don't understand why that comes as a shock to people when you get independent information from you know YouTubers and stuff like that there's a reason why a lot of them don't do well it's because they have no personality they have no on-camera presence and stuff like that so websites are just as guilty if not guiltier as being clickbait artists and trying to drum up clicks and drum up controversy and this, that, or the other. Why do you think Kotaku and Polygon do the stupid ass articles that they do? Because they want to drum up controversy. They need to get those clicks in. They need to get those ads ran like you could see on the Express website here. So is there a Nintendo, a secret Nintendo Switch 2 event happening this week? No, no, there's not. And it's stupid to think otherwise with the launch of Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And I don't know why it's in this article. I don't know why this article was written because all this information is literally months old information. And I'm sure I could dig around on this website and find where they've already talked about this and they're just kind of repurposing this information because it was a slow news day. Like, okay, Nintendo hasn't really been talking about anything, you know? Maybe they'll announce some, I'm sure they'll announce some, you know, uh the uh switch online games for the retro consoles i'm sure that's coming kind of soon you know they like to do that around the holiday season but like i don't know I, I i saw this i saw this article and i saw the headline of it and i was just blown away i was like what did i miss what, what are we talking about here what do you mean what do you mean there's gonna be an event this week there's no event this week why would you say that and to not have any information to back it up I mean, that's just hilarious to me, you know. <laughs> hey, you know what? Get those clicks, daddy. Get those clicks. You know, you know, get those ads ran and uh, you'll make a little bit of money. So maybe I'm completely wrong on this. Maybe there is a big event and they're going to do it like right before Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches. So that way they can just be like, yeah, you know, nobody's going to talk about this game. They're all going to be talking about the Switch 2. Maybe there is an event this week. Let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below like i said don't send any hate to the express website or stuff this is just a tongue-in-cheek video you know i like to poke fun at what weird stuff that i see online because i have a personality and i'm a, I'm a 
I'm allowed to do that. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. Spread the good word of the fact that, I don't know, I guess there's an event this week that nobody knows about except for the Express. You know, the British, they're always coming through, man. They always got the inside sources. But my figures are still sitting at the same post service that it was posted on on 9-11. It's been sitting there. Been over a month. Big money figures. RIP figures. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.